Hey, look who it is. It's the mastermind spy herself, <laughs> Sakura Ogami. All right, what's up, my boys? Welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, last time we... Oh my god, I forgot what we did last time. Okay, so last time we investigated the fourth floor. Uh, we discovered that the fourth floor was opened up after the last class trial. And also, Alter Ego finished his search uh, with the files on the laptop. Um, but unfortunately, well, actually, you know what, he, he did help us out. Um, he, he helped us out with, like, trying to find the Mastermind's identity. He said he was, like, uh, some old guy in his 30s, some shit. Yeah, and then Alter Ego told us about how the administrators of Hope's Peak were the ones who locked us in here. And it wasn't, like, some crazy serial serial killer like Genocide Jack, and although I'm pretty sure we already knew that. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we did last time. So now hopefully we start doing free time this episode. So yeah, let's get into it. It's morning. I believe we want to head to the dining hall right now. So let's go do that. Oh, Hero, what's up, man? Why are you near the warehouse? Whoa, Makoto. Did I scare you? Huh? Why do you sound so surprised? Sorry about that. It's just if you'd gotten here even a minute earlier, it would have cost it would have cost me a few more minutes of, off my life. What? What? Why? You know? Cause Kyoko like just left. Kyoko. We're serious. You know, Makoto. When a guy and a girl go at it, it shortens the lives of the people who have to watch it happen too. <laughs> what is he on about, bro? How about that? And since it's me saying it, you know it's true. Yeah, yeah. Keep hmm. smoking pot, buddy. So, like, hurry up and make it better. Yo. Anyway, see you at breakfast. That's easy for him to say, but what am I supposed to do? Yeah, Kyoko's still fucking pissed, man. I know he hid the secret from her, but, like... The fact that she was still pissed, like... For the rest of the day, la <laughs> yesterday, was fucking crazy. Um, good morning, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Morning. Hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool, huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know when you said Alter Ego was your friend. So um. I was thinking the same thing, but when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. Aw. So thanks. <laughs> y you're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes, bam! You bust out your special power. Bust not! Ha! Cause, I mean... I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like, you always do something about it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is Hina hitting on Makoto right now? She's even blushing right now. She's sweating, too. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Even before yesterday, are you talking about the class trials and stuff? Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's... Mainly because no one wants to, like, do the investigating. <laughs> they want to leave it all up to Makoto, that's why he has to step up. I mean, that stuff is just... it just kind of took care of itself, you know? It totally didn't! Um... With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I am right, alright? Now, now that we've got that fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right, even if the road is long. If we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Oh, yeah, I see Byaki over here. What do you want? What do you want? Um, well, breakfast meeting. I mean, he never goes to the fucking breakfast meeting, so... <laughs> I, I don't really blame him if he just wants to sit out here. That's enough. You honestly expect me to go? Right. Oh, as long as I'm here. I should ask Byakuya what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I'd better not. The surveillance camera would catch us for sure. What? So? Oh, um, well. Goodbye. Hmm. He's gone. Yeah, he probably went to the fourth floor or some shit. And then Toko's probably gonna follow him too, so. <laughs> Typical stuff. Let's see, who's here? Oh, Kyoko's not here. What the hell? Oh, Toko's here, too. Okay. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was... her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Yeah, Toko usually isn't at the dining hall. 
Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What you think your eyes will just will rot just by looking at me? Oh fuck's sake. What the heck? Fine, then don't look at me. I think he's just surprised. Oh, <coughs> oh, I gotta clear my throat. Sorry about that. I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting. Is all. Indeed, it's been it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um. Yeah. What made you change your mind? <laughs> Biakia said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones. So. Huh? I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Hey yo, what the fuck? This is a really toxic relationship between these two. I refuse to lose. Oh my god, Hina really saw that as a challenge. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Hiyoko is in here. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? Oh my god, bro. Yeah, after you leave. Oh, for fuck's sake. She's still pissed off about me? Oh my god. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said I want- I know I said she wanted you to, s to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtlandia. Shut up, bitch! You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? Bro, chill! Oh my god. I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Oh, damn. Starting beef with Hina. Alright, here we go. Actually, they, they've always had beef. <laughs> filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Sh shut up! You and that lusty body of yours. Whoa, 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 what kind of beef are we having here? <laughs> night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. I don't like where this is going. Okay. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight extracurricular activities. Stop! only put us in even more danger. What the fuck? Yo, Toko has officially gone crazy. What's going on here? Please. S stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Stop! You're sweaty. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not reading any more of this shit. <laughs> going for all that extra credit, your screams are like stop! the screech of the vi of a violated blackboard. I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. And and uh, it's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. Oh my god, bro! So you would rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Oh god. Yeah. Yep. That scared her. Uh, sorry. 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 Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already. You know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want to th I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Oh, is he talking about Sakura? Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Okay, um, I'm gonna talk to her about it. Uh, um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. Oh my god, bro, I just need- <laughs> Bro, I just need to talk to her about the fucking spy stuff, because that shit with Monokuma, that fight in the gym, was uh, pretty suspicious. Are you in a heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Oh my god. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Why is this happening to me? Well. Can our can our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. 
For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Yeah, I wonder why. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, no, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Right. Huh? Is that... Oh, because of the fight with Monokuma. It must be because of that battle. Yep. I like how the happy music starts playing again right after that. <laughs> But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein. It's like your god or something. Well, clearly Hero hasn't worked out. Like that's pretty much like what all bodybuilders or like you know ev everyone who like works out. <laughs> Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Y yeah, I got it. I don't know, man. I feel like whenever a story does this type of shit, where it's like you gotta leave it off till like tomorrow, it feels like some shit's gonna happen, the, like the next day. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. <sighs> eat? I'm kind of nervous. Nervous or about eating? Huh? How come? What's your problem? Cause I don't usually eat in front of other people. Oh my god. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> Just eat in another room? What? Oh well, yeah, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. What do you mean by that? You got two moms and a dad? What's going on here? Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. Was it like a divorce or something like that? That's like a serious issue. <sighs> just let it go. You're asking for more trouble getting involved in with her more than you have to. <laughs> how dare you speak to me with that disgust? Disgusting mouth of yours. Fuck's sake. S stop saying stuff like that. A anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. True. Mm. Pretty miserable. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> yep. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Free time, right? Free time. Play the music! Hey, I'll have to wait to t till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Alright. Who who are we gonna talk to? Um, I think I wanted to talk to Hiro, right? I haven't talked to Hiro at all. Sakura's in her room. I'm assuming it's not gonna let me talk to Sakura. Plus, we, we've we talked to Sakura before, so... So yeah, where's everybody at? I'm assuming on the fourth floor, right? Because we just discovered that area. They all like hanging out in the new areas that you find. Oh god, Kyoko's up there too. Music room... Byakuya and... Toko? I, I've hung out with Toko. Have I hung out with Byakuya? I need to do that at some point. I can just check our report card if- or his report card if- if I need to check if I hung out with him. Um, okay. So Hero's right here. Where's Kyoko at? I'm just curious, I'm gonna- Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Hero, but yeah, there's Kyoko. She's probably really pissed. Yo. Did you need something, Makoto? Huh. <laughs> it better not be my life! Don't kill me! Oh my god. Afterlife, protect me. Makoto, kill someone if you must, but don't kill me. Hmm, should I spend some time with Hiro while he's acting like this? Yeah. Well? I also got all the presents now, so I, I should have something that he'll like. Um, well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmogony? Huh? What? Does that have to do with stars or some shit? I learned, about, I learned all about Hiro's theories on the origin of the universe. Yeah, should be expected from him. Hiro and I grew a little closer today. 
Uh, yes. I should have something. I don't know what he likes, though. Um, we're just gonna have to take a guess at something and what he likes. Second button. Sacred Tree Sprig. The branch from a Sakaki tree, commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. I think he'll like this, right? Gah! Such mysterious power! This is a true blue opart. What? I don't even know if I read that right. Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Seeing Hero so pleased with something I gave him makes me so happy. Oh, so he really- I think he loved that. Hey Makoto, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this, it wasn't a coincidence. Well, yeah, it wasn't. I, <laughs> I just- I just wanted to talk to you. So I've got some good news for you. I'm gonna give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. Okay, a discount? How about that? Normally, it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it 900. Uh, hey, yo, Makoto, you got that money? <laughs> that's a that's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then, it's way too expensive. Yeah. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell your future. I wonder if this shit is actually true. Like all the shit that he says about the future. Like, I wonder if his predictions are actually right. So, are you right pretty often? Well, I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. Dude, that, that is not accurate at all. <laughs> 20%? That sounds pretty sketchy. Yeah, I don't know what kind of business he plans on running when he gets out of here. But <laughs> he, He's gonna be one hell of a con artist. For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right. Every time. <laughs> it's like that meme, like 60%. Of the time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. That's still not reliable at all. <laughs> Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um. How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see it? Well. <laughs> You won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? What? The mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. Okay? I refuse. Denied. Don't like it. I'm right, right? Doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. Oh my god. 20% accuracy, you said? You know? At least. I I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. Yeah, that's fucked, bro. <laughs> 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 now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be one thousand dollars, please. Don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Makoto's gonna be in debt after this. W wait hold on but there's no way you're gonna be right right hmm. if you like I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not naturally additional fees will apply oh shit yeah <laughs> think about it okay let me know as soon as you're ready for my services <laughs> for fuck's sake oh he's gone well now <laughs> now he now he owes a uh, hero money for when we get out of here Hopefully we can get out of here with everyone alive. Um, do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. <laughs> I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you. Whatever happens, don't let him be right. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you just unlocked the skill Lost in Thought. Hey, we got another, another skill. So we're all done, I head back to my room, okay. So I'm assuming I can hang out with one more person? Or at least for today. Can we hang out with everybody? I don't, I don't know, I don't think we have enough time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Have I hung out with Byakuya before? My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic, ability, they're all ultimate. 
Just say I'm the ultimate perfection. Yeah, okay, so we have hung out with Byakuya before. Then that means we've hung out with everybody at least once. Uh, I've hung out with Kyoko twice, obviously. Um... Let me actually see, can I... Can I actually hang out with Sakura? Let me just check. It's probably not gonna let me. Um, where is Sakura's room? Just walk past all these dead people. Uh, Sakura. I guess I, I guess I should press the doorbell. Ding dong. I'm sorry. I'm not in the best condition to talk right now. Can we do it tomorrow? Yeah, I figured. Oh fuck, she's Genocide Jack now. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> we never hung out with Genocide Jack. We hung out with Toko and like. What, the second chapter or something like that? Um, yeah, let's hang out with Genocide Jack. Genocide Joe, what's up? Okay. What's up? You wanna go on a murder spree with me? Um, well, I don't wanna go on a murder spree with you. I just wanna hang out. You want me to kill you or something? Oh god, imagine if that was a thing. Where if you hung out with Genocide Jill, she just straight up kills you. Oh god. You're not even close to getting me heated up. Maybe this will be a little different, cause Genocide Jack is is different from Toko. I don't know. The time I spent with the Murderous Fiend was almost valuable. <laughs> I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Okay, yeah, let's let's see. I don't know if she'll like tea. What sh what would she like? By the way, you can't- I, I think I've mentioned this before, but there's like an extra mode later on called school mode, and you'll be able to hang out with everybody. And by everybody, I mean like even the students that have died. <laughs> so yeah, you can complete everyone's like report cards and stuff like that. So it, it really doesn't matter who you hang out with in the free time of the story mode, because you'll get time later on to hang out with everybody. Um, I don't know what she wants. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna look up what Genocide Jack likes. Cause I, I, I don't wanna mess the shit up. Two hours later. Okay, so apparently she likes the Maiden's Handbag. Or, I, wait, does she like this one too? The Kokeshi Dynamo? Hey yo, the wiki better be right about this. Um, actually I'm gonna go with the handbag. Oh my, it's so wonderful. Can I lick it? Hey yo, what the fuck? When you get something this nice, don't you just love to lick it? Or is it just me? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just you. <laughs> Seeing Genocide Jack so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird how that would make you happy. Oh, is that it? Oh my god, I got nothing out of that, really? Bruh. No conversation, no s extra skill. I'm disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. There's gonna be more free time, right? Or is it because there's less students, there's less free time? Oh no. What's going on? Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Oh no, here we go. Quickly, 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 quickly. Fuck. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it too. Um, okay, let me check how long I've been recording. Uh, I've been going for 31 minutes, we'll keep going. All right, well, we gotta go head to the gym. Let's see if anybody's around first. A little scary music is playing now. Okay, Just seeing if anyone's around. Boo Uh, the gym is on this floor, right? Yeah. It's kind of weird how I saw nobody around this time. Oh, Sakura. Uh-oh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Are you gonna go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call all us together. Caught- did call us all together, after all. I can't read. Sakura? Well then. Makoto. If something happens to me. Hina. Huh? Oh shit. 
is this going to be about the like talking about the mastermind spy? I feel like that's what's going on here. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. Uh, I'm who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um Sakura? That's that's kind of creepy. I haven't seen Sakura like that. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered in at the gym, it began. Damn, no additional, like, fluff dialogue. We just get straight into it. There's Kyoko. She's still mad at- Still mad at us. <laughs> Alright, what is it gonna be? It's, it's probably gonna talk about the Mastermind Spy. Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Yeah, that's probably. That's probably it. Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Oh wow, she changed quickly. <laughs> she was just Genocide Jack when I was talking to her. We have to go through this again? Oh, I mean, it's kind of normal at this point. Ugh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low the, on the totem pole of life you really are. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, I'm feeling Okay. <laughs> the reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course. But I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Oh, is this gonna be about alter ego? <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Byakia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Oh, cool. God. Yeah, so what about it? In other words, well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. Oh shit, here we go. What? Hey, um... So guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. Oh shit, wow. He just straight up said it in front of everyone. Oh. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What, what are you talking about? Oh no, we're, n we're not gonna... We're about to have another betrayal story. The same thing that happened with Taka is happening with Hina now. Oh shit, bro. You're a liar. There's... There's no way Sakura's a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Oh no, she's silent. Sakura? And I might just make Sakura- And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. Oh god. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Hostage? Bro, who is this hostage that he's talking about? Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! Poo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Either way, I can't wait. Oh god. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understand what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Oh man, and this hasn't been the first time someone's been betrayed. Actually, this whole this whole fucking game has been. It's it's in a. T -t Today, Junior. Oh my god, I can't speak. This whole game has been about betrayal since the very beginning. Like Sayaka betrayed Makoto in the first chapter. Uh, I guess Mondo wasn't really trying to betray Taka, but. He ended up betraying Taka anyways. And then the third chapter, Celeste betrayed Hifumi, which, I mean, that was fucked, man. And Taka's death was fucking... Like, that- that- he didn't have to go out that way, man. Uh, um... 
So, what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. Oh no. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're wrong. Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Oh god, he is in denial. Oh god. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. Oh no. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Oh, no. Then he was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? Oh god. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It, it's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. I don't know about that. There's gotta be some... some reason. She didn't have a choice, she was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The Mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. Wh what You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Wait, what? Because I saw it. Oh, he's finally gonna spill the beans. There, there you go, Makoto. Fi you finally did it when everything was revealed already. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. Oh. I see. You saw all that? How did he see all of that, but Sakura or Monokuma didn't notice him? Bruh. He must have been like peeking through a door or some shit. The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She's the mastermind's- she was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Oh man. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this- maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What you Sakura would never do that. Okay, then Sakura, if you really have to cut ties with the Mastermind... If you really have cut ties with the Mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well... I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please! She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Oh god. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up, I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? I was told... To kill one of my friends. Oh shit. The crazy thing is, is that Sakura hasn't killed anybody. Like, we've just been killing each other. So... It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're, wrong. You're wrong! I'm telling you! Sakura would never do that! You, you don't have to yell, we can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's it's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. Oh no. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the Mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Damn. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean, if you go both down? If you go both down? What? <laughs> Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. 
I went back and forth about confiding in you again, in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. Oh man. But, but. S Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. This is like. I'm telling you, this is gonna be the same shit that happened with Mondo and Taka. Oh man, this this is gonna be really sad. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Oh, it's night time. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is as such. Yep. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Yep. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just gonna assume there's there isn't gonna be any more free time now, so... <laughs> Uh, well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is Don't make me over. Yourself. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Oh no. Why? Why, Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? what is it you think you understand? You don't even know who she really is. What is this? That. That's. Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But... Oh no. Anyway. Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Oh no, poor Hina. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. Oh man, Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Oh man. This is fucked, man. As long as you're human, there there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer in a, on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't! Cause I'm a bear! Shut up. Oh boy. Good morning! Yeah, 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 yeah. Get rid Fucking headass. Alright. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Okay, how long have I been going for? 47 minutes? You know what? I, I want to keep going. I was going to leave it off here, but I want to keep going because... I don't know, I just want to progress with the story. I know I don't want these videos to be too long for you guys, but like... Come on, like, I, I just want to play, man. <laughs> the story's getting interesting again. Um... Okay, oh, Kyoko's out here. Okay, is Kyoko still mad at me? It's been two days, come on. Kyoko, good morning. Oh, okay. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Yep. Alright, let's see what- let's see what's gonna happen. Who's here? Everybody's here. Um, Wait. Did I see Sakura? I, I, oh god. Ugh, oh, Makoto, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko, Byakuya, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge in here. Refuge? 
Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Wow, this is like the first time Byakuya has ever felt threatened. Like, for his life. I guess it's because of Sakura, like... Bro, you don't, you don't want to fight with Sakura, bro. <laughs> the Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? Oh no. Yeah, Sakura is in here. Oh no, that's when I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was, a si was as a safeguard against that threat. Th threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. Are you fucking serious? That cannot be the reason why he hates her so much. He hates her so much. I can't speak. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. Absolutely. What did you stupid? Say? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's it is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Oh shit. Okay. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think th things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakura was a spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However, That may be part of it, but it's not the whole pr picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. Yep. I mean, Monokuma said it wasn't a motive, but it clearly was. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words... In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... Th that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how, not, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? Oh god. <sighs> If she really can beat the Mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot! You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Hm. It wouldn't matter. Oh, fuck. Huh? What? What? Huh. If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. H hold on. Byakuya? In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Oh shit. What the hell? Oh shit! Yo, she straight up just smacked him in the face. Oh my god. You disgust me. You're you're a monster. To say something like that? It should have been you. Damn, bro. You should have been the one to die. God damn. What? I should have died. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my god, I said that at the same time you said it. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Oh my god, bro. Y'all, y'all can't be doing this right now. We need to like. Yeah, we need to calm them down. Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Hmm. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Damn, this is fucked up, man. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cow. How dare she? She should... Die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakia. And all you can do is mock them for it. Damn. Hm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> oh, well. So, so, um, you know. Uh, um... How about we, uh, eat? Uh, maybe now's not a good time. You know? 
Damn. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms, one by one. Oh shit, bro. How are you gonna have the happy music playing now? Bruh. So what should I do today? Are you serious? It's still free time? After that? So we're just gonna ignore that just happened? I'm like, oh yeah, let's just- let's just go hang out with everybody. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. This game is crazy. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna leave it off here. I've been recording for a little while now, so... Yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later. This chapter is fucking crazy. All of these chapters have started out strong.